All right, guys, back again with another video to help you out. Um, this time it's time to take out this radio head unit out of this 2007 Honda Accord. I know this runs uh, about 2002 or three through, I think, 2010, somewhere in that area. Anyway, it's uh, kind of extensive. There's a lot of little pieces to remove, but um, in the end, it's uh, worth it to get uh, your radio and uh, HVAC controls and all that stuff out. It's all one unit, so you have to take it entirely out if you want to service either or. Anyway, uh, that being said, let's get into it. Um, first thing you want to do is uh, pull up your e-brake and uh, then you want to move your shifter into a uh, rear position. And uh, then you'll take your control panel here out. It has your uh, change spot and your power outlet in it you'll pop out the little tray that's inside of it it's just held in with clips on the back side pop that out and there'll be two screws Phillips head screws down in there one there and then one there and then you can pop this up out and there'll be a plug on the back side for your power outlet and you can move that off to the side then you'll have your compartment down inside you'll be able to see the two screws that hold it in one on this side one on that side these are just Phillips screws also you can pop the you know pull those two out and then with a little motivation using a panel puller tool or something similar um, you can unwedge it from underneath the radio it's uh, not held in any other way on top except for uh, a couple little clips up here on top. So you can pull it out side to side and you can remove those. Now that gives you access to underneath the radio. And underneath here, there'll be a little cross member here that'll have two eight millimeter bolts and they're actually screw headed bolts. So you can either use an eight millimeter socket or you can use a Phillips head screwdriver it just has to make sure that it's the correct size for the screw otherwise you'll tear out the inside of this and then you'll have to use an eight millimeter of some sort and uh, it can be kind of uh, problematic if that's the case anyway I just used a very short stubby Phillips head screwdriver and was able to get those two out I tried to use a, an eight millimeter socket quarter drive and uh, wasn't able to anyway um, that'll that'll take care of those two bolts on the bottom that's actually what holds the radio in and then up on top you'll have your vent panel and it's just held in with clips also so using a panel tool or full or uh, flathead screwdriver you can just pop that out and it's got a uh, plug over here but you don't need to unhook it for anything and then you'll have three Phillips head screws one here one in the middle and one on that side and that'll remove the top half of the radio and then it'll still be held in with clips on the sides so using a panel tool again uh, you'll want to pop this out and you'll have some clips along the bottom of this too which can be uh, tricky to pull loose but anyway you get you get those pulled loose and then your whole radio and HVAC and all will come forward and then you'll have a plug on the back side here and a couple of retaining wire clips and then you'll have a plug here and your antenna here and uh, then you'll be able to have your radio and HVAC in hand to do whatever service you need to do. That being said, that's all there is to it to take out your radio and HVAC control unit. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe.